If you guys need help gearing up for any of the new content that's going to be arriving in just a few short days in Grand Theft Auto Online with the Criminal Enterprises DLC, check out G2A with the link in the description and use cashback code BOSS if you want to save a little bit extra as well. What's going on guys? My name is Ross or Mr. Boss for the win and in today's GTK 5 video, I'm going to be telling you how much money you're going to need in order to be able to get everything all the new cars the clothing the weapons the vehicles the properties that rockstar are going to introduce and a whole lot more because i'm sure there's a lot of you guys right now that are wondering do i have enough money or what is going to be enough money so that i can buy everything so let me know in those comments down below how much money you have saved up for this dlc and how much money do you think we're going to need to buy everything in the update so let me start with what I believe is going to be the most expensive part of the update, and that is going to be the cars. Rockstar talked a lot about the vehicles in this update. From what we've seen so far in the trailer, we've seen about 10 to 12 new vehicles or vehicles that are getting facelifts. So think of like the Sentinel Classic and the Turismo R. Those are older cars, but look like they're going to be upgradable and purchasable. So just based on the fact that we've seen 10 to 12 vehicles so far, I think Rockstar have probably only shown us half of them because I'm pretty sure that every vehicle we've seen on the newswire and in the trailer, artwork, and screenshots is going to be available on day one. So I'm thinking maybe around 10 cars on Tuesday when the DLC arrives. So I'm going to personally speculate that there's probably going to be about 20 cars in total, which is a lot. That's more than I honestly thought. We know that two of them are going to be Amani Tech eligible vehicles that have special upgrades like the remote control, missile lock on jammer, and more. Some of them are gonna be tuner cars, some of them are gonna be Bennies, and then for the guys on the PlayStation 5, there's gonna be two HSW vehicles. And that's what I'm going to use here is my barometer, PS5 and Xbox Series X and S. So for those of you guys that are still on the PS4 or Xbox One, just sort of take away some of the stuff that the newer consoles are going to be getting, like the HSW rides. So now that we know all that, we can kind of gander that this is going to be fairly expensive. So let's start off and assume we have 20 vehicles. That's a nice round number. And let's also assume that each of these vehicles on the low end are going to be about a million dollars and on the high end, two million dollars. I know that there's going to be some that are much lower than that, some that are higher, but it kind of rounds out really nicely to that. So just on the price of vehicles alone, you've got $20 million sunk into all the vehicles, or on the high end, around $40 million. And remember that these are going to be some of the most highly customizable cars in the game. The Amani Tech stuff, not cheap. Tuner vehicles have lots of upgrades. Bennies have exclusive things that you can put on there. And the HSW rides, those conversions are incredibly expensive. So just on the vehicles alone, 20 to $40 million, and if you want to upgrade each one of them, I'm going to easily say you're going to put between half a million dollars and a million dollars into upgrading each car and getting it exactly the way you want. So that's going to bring our grand total to $30 million on the low end or on the high end. That's going to bring us all the way up to $50 million. And I know that sounds like a lot, but it's really not when you break down the price of the vehicles and all the upgrades we're gonna be doing to them, the customization, everything that makes our Grand Theft Auto Online cars and vehicles so special and unique. So you're gonna need a lot of money for the cars and vehicles, that's for sure. The next thing is a new property, and although Rockstar didn't say they're introducing like a new building or anything like that, they did say that they were going to be increasing the ownable properties limit from eight to 10 which means our total garage space is gonna jump by 20 vehicles. So because of that, that amount can kind of vary. Whatever other two ownable properties you choose to buy, whether they are the cheapo ones with a two car garage, whether it's the most high end luxury apartment with a 10 car garage, that's obviously going to vary, but you could easily spend kind of upwards of one to $2 million, maybe two, $3 million by the time it's all said and done on new vehicle space. So you also have to keep in mind that. You've got all these new vehicles and cars coming. Where are you going to store them? You're gonna probably have to increase your garage space or you're gonna to have to get rid of some cars. So even though that we cannot buy a brand new property, you're now gonna be able to own two more properties, which I think players will definitely wanna be taking advantage of. 
The next thing that I think is going to be the most expensive are the two new weapons that Rockstar showed off. So one of them is going to be an assault rifle. It actually looks kind of like an M16 or an M4A1. So knowing Rockstar and knowing how particular their fans are, they're probably going to be really into this firearm right here. And so I would imagine they're probably going to make it more on the expensive side. Remember the ones from the contract DLC? They were a couple hundred thousand dollars each. And depending on what sort of fancy upgrades you do to them and the ammo, let's just call each one. $500,000. That's the first one. And we know the second one is going to be some sort of bolt action sniper rifle, which we actually saw in the trailer. So you know that that one's going to be expensive as well. Rockstar is obviously well aware that their fans like their sniper rifles. So right off the bat with the cars, vehicles, properties, and weapons, we're looking at the low end still in the mid $30 million range. And on the high end, kind of in the mid to upper $50 million range. And that doesn't even include all the other things that Rockstar are going to be adding. Now, from the trailer, we could see that there was a few articles of clothing that were new. In this one shot right here with the bikers, we can see they're wearing a new jacket. I would also imagine that pretty much every branch, biker, executive, gun runner, and the nightclub owner are going to be getting sort of a clothing refresh. So I guarantee you there's going to be lots of clothes. I would also imagine there's going to be a ton of things like accessories, shoes, sunglasses, necklaces, gloves, and even masks and hats. All of that is really going to fall under the clothing umbrella. So I'm just going to round up nice and even and say, if you want to get everything, a million dollars. Now, it could be a lot more than that depending on certain items that they add and the price tags that are associated with it. And remember, this is to get every single item here. Let's just tack on another $1 million. Now, there's one element to this DLC that you're definitely going to have to drop some money on, but I know won't apply to everyone. A big part of this update is obviously the business expansions. So if you have not tapped into the executive branch, biker branch, gun runner branch, or nightclub owner branch, you're only going to be able to take part in certain aspects of the DLC. So a lot of people right now might be scrambling to buy a nightclub or they might be scrambling to buy a bunker or an MC clubhouse or a CEO office. If that's the case, that's obviously going to add to your cost. But I know I can't apply that to everyone because a lot of seasoned veterans won't even have to do that. There's also a couple of other things in this update that I definitely think are wild cards. Like, for example, are you going to have to purchase a membership for this new showroom floor where players can test drive or simply purchase a range of vehicles on the spot? Or will it work like any car dealership, kind of where you can just walk into it right now and that's all you kind of need to do and then you can just buy the vehicle? I don't really know. And then as far as the contact mission stuff, the Operation Paper Trail, are you going to need some sort of setup or acquisition cost in order to get that started? Like, for example, the Diamond Casino and Resort missions, you obviously had to be a VIP member at the Diamond Casino and Resort, which meant owning a penthouse. I don't know if this is going to work the same way. Do you have to own some sort of property in order to get things started? That I don't know. What I do know, though, is even though Rockstar is adding a ton of content, it looks like they're making a lot of ways to make money, including increased payouts, which we'll talk about in another video alongside when we think this entire thing is going to be releasing and how you can prepare for this update. But giving my final thoughts on everything and how much money I think you're going to need for this update, on the low end, I'm honestly going to say probably about $40 million dollars. And on the high end, probably somewhere close to $60 million. Now, again, not all of that content will be available up front on day one. But over the summer and over the fall, it's probably going to be that amount of money that you're going to need to buy everything from the Criminal Enterprises DLC. But like I said, I would love to hear from you guys in those comments down below. Let me know what you think the money amount is going to be in order to purchase all the new cars, items, and more in GTA Online. I'd love to hear from you guys in those comments down below. If you guys did go and enjoy this video, though, a like rating would, of course, be awesome. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new. You want to stay up to date on all the latest GTA and all the Criminal Enterprise DLC videos that I'll be doing here on my channel. And be sure to ring that notification bell as well. Sometimes YouTube just doesn't work, and if you ring that bell, you'll always be guaranteed to be notified when new videos arrive. But of course, as always, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Take care. And I'll see you guys in the next video.